So this question starts off by providing us with a system of equations. It goes on to say, what is the solution x, y to the given system of equations? All right, so let's, let's see how we want to solve this. I would say we can use, I'm going to actually use substitution as my method here. Substitution. So there's two methods when solving a system of equations. Actually, there's three. We can use Desmos and plug these both in and see where they intersect. It's probably the fastest way. Let me just take note of that. So fastest way here is to plug both of these into Desmos, and you'll see the point of intersection is the answer to the question. That's going to be the absolute fastest way. What I'm going to show you here on the screen is how to use substitution. Right? I'm going to take this second equation. In fact, I'm going to take the first equation. Add 9x to both sides so that I have y equals 9x plus 13. I'm gonna then take that y value and plug it into the y value of the second equation. So I have 5x equals two times, again, instead of y, I replace y with 9x plus 13. So I'm left with 5x equals 18x, right? So I'm distributing the two across here, plus 26. I can subtract 18x from both sides of the equation and I'm left with negative 13x equals 26, and divide both sides by negative 13, and get x is equal to negative 2. So I know that my x value has to be negative 2. I look at my answer choices, and only one of the options has x as negative 2, and that's choice C. So choice C must be the correct answer. So Desmos gets you there quickly. This process doesn't take all that long either, to be honest, but you know, at least now you have two options of how to get there.